Howdy y'all, welcome to my channel. Today I am participating in the Autumn Skies and Pumpkin Hot Pies hop and I have created this piece for that because the purpose of this hop is to inspire y'all to create some wonderful home decor items. There will be some other great channels participating and I can't wait to see what they come up with. So let's begin. We are gonna prep our canvas and we're gonna do that by bringing out some Sargent Art liquid gesso along with paintbrush. So I wanted to let y'all know that this is a hashtag driven hop and that hashtag is hashtag autumn decor. Now I'm gonna set this canvas piece aside to let it dry. So I've grabbed my gel plate and I've grabbed a couple of paint colors, acrylic paint colors, and I'm gonna be pulling the print on these printer paper printouts. Okay, so we're gonna start out with some artist loft acrylic paint in the color orange. We're also going to bring in some deco art acrylic paint in Christmas red. Now I did get my deco art paint as a set. It came with a couple of other colors. Okay, so just take this print out and place it over the gel plate. Then I'm going to bring in some deli paper to help pull the print. And it's going to do that by letting me rub over the printer paper. So I wanted to let y'all know that this hop that I'm participating in is hashtag driven. It's hashtag autumn decor. But just in case you have a bit of trouble with that hashtag, I will also have the link to the next person in the lineup. And let's see how this print turned out. That's pretty. I'm just going to do another print over it just so I can have the paint go the other direction. Now I'm just going to roll it this direction. So the purpose of this hop is for us to help evoke the feelings of fall through our home decor projects that we're going to share with you. Okay. Now we can see how this turned out. looks really nice so far and I'm just gonna set this aside for a minute I'm just setting that aside to dry so the prints have been pulled and now we need to 
but we're going to actually make another print on here. We're going to use my small gel plate and we're going to use Liquitex Basics Raw Sienna. We now need to bring in the brayer. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to place this gel plate on top of the print. And we're just going to do some small printing. Then we're just gonna keep, we're just gonna, basically we're just trying to use this, this smaller gel plate similarly to an, a stamp. That's what we're basically trying to use it as. I wanted to let y'all know that this hop also has a giveaway of a grand prize the way you're going to enter for your chance at the grand prize is by visiting all the channels participating in the hop and commenting on those videos that are part of the hop. Something else you can do is to so another reason you might want to visit the channels that are participating in this hop is that they may also be doing their own personal giveaways along with the grand prize giveaway. There you go. So we will set these prints aside to dry a little more. Now that my jelly print has dried, I am going to fussy cut. That's right, fussy cut. So, hopefully y'all don't have to watch the whole thing in real time, but I'm going to start on it right now. So now that we're done fussy cutting, what we need to do is we need to bring out our Viva decoupage and a foam brush and we just need to coat the back of this gel print with the decoupage. Now I will admit that this jar is kind of squishy like it's really soft so you might want to be careful with how you handle it so you just want to brush the paint on well you just want to brush the decoupage medium onto the back of your gel print and yes you will need the decoupage medium because I have tried gesso and I have tried Mod Podge and neither of those mediums work for gluing your gel print onto the canvas. I don't know why it's just that's just been my experience. So all you have to do is position this where you want it. And then you just fold the pieces over. I don't know if you can see. 
see that. But yeah, you just fold the pieces over. Like so. And if they're not folding over, you can always just bring the stick some more decoupage medium underneath your piece. You may even want to apply the decoupage medium directly to the canvas piece. Now my canvas piece is a 12 by 12 canvas, which is the same size as the gel, per gel press we were working with earlier. So you'll just want to let this dry. So now the decoupage medium has dried and our gel print is attached to our canvas. So what we're going to do next is I'm going to turn the canvas this way. I'm going to grab my pencil and I'm going to write on here. And then once I'm done writing, I will bring in some paint. Bring in my palette. I'm going to put in some Deco Art black paint in here. I'm also going to put in some Deco Art Christmas red in here. So now I'm going to bring in my paintbrush. I'm going to paint over these letters that I just wrote And if you want to, you can clean your brush. I'm gonna clean my brush using the Freshwater Rinse Well. I really like this for cleaning my paint brushes. Number one, if I was ready for this paintbrush to set aside and dry I could stick it in one of these holes and number two I can push this plunger down to empty out the dirty water and this bottle right here will provide me with the fresh water the dirty water sits in the bottom of this basin and when you're done with your paint project you can Take your rinse well and dump out the dirty water. Now I'm going to use this black paint to paint over the rest of the words that I didn't do in red. So we're just going to let our paint dry a bit. I want to thank y'all for staying with me to the end of this video. And I hope y'all stay safe, stay crafty, stay healthy. Bye.